I am no one AG that man got always has a Hello everybody, today I'm gonna to read Acts 1. My first Saturday message with this microphone. So let's see how it turns out. My Bible is right here in front of me. So you might not see it today, but it's here. So I'm gonna pray and I'm gonna head into it. Dear God, thank you for this time that I can do this. Lord, I ask that you please get rid of the coronavirus pandemic and every other disease. Lord, you are awesome. You are amazing. In your precious and holy name, Lord, I say, Amen. Without further ado, I'm going to read Acts 1. The first account I composed, Theophilus, about all that Jesus began to do and teach, until the day when he was taken up to heaven, after he had, by the Holy Spirit, given orders to the apostles whom he had chosen. To these he also pre presented himself, alive after his suffering, by many convincing proofs appearing to them over a period of forty days and speaking of the things concerning the kingdom of God. Gathering them together, he commanded them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait for what the Father had promised, which, he said, you heard of from me, for John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So when they had come together, they were asking him, saying, Lord, is it at this time you are restoring the kingdom of Israel? He said to them, And it's not for you to know times or epochs which the Father has fixed by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes come upon you. And you shall be my witnesses both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria, and even to the remotest part of the earth. After he had said these things, he was lifted up while they were looking on, and a cloud receiving him out of their sight. And as they were gazing intently to the sky while he was going, behold, two men in white clothing stood beside them. They also said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking into the sky? This Jesus who has been taken up from you into heaven will come in just the same way as you have watched him go into heaven. Then they returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey away. When they had entered the city, they went up to the upper room where they were staying, that is, Peter and John and James and Andrew and Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, the son of Alpheus and Simon the Zealot and Judas the son of James those all with one uh, these all with one mind were continually devoting themselves to prayer along with the woman and Mary the mother of Jesus and with all his brothers at this time Peter stood up in the midst of the brethren and gathering of about 120 persons was there together and said, Brethren, the scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Father which the Holy Spirit, sorry, foretold by the mountain of David the mouth of David concerning Judas, not mountain mouth, who became a guide to those who arrested Jesus. For he was counted among us and received his share in this ministry. Now this man acquired a field with the price of the wicked of his wickedness, and following him on, he burst open in the middle, and all his intestines gushed out. And it became known to all who were living in Jerusalem, so that in their own language, that field was called Hakimaya. I don't know how to say that. That is field of blood, for it is written in the book of Psalms. Let his homestead be made desolate, and let no one dwell in it, and let another man take his office. Therefore, it is necessary that other men who have accompanied us all the time, that the Lord Jesus went in and out among us, beginning with the baptism of John until the day that he was taken up from us. 
one of these must become a witness with us of his resurrection. So they put forward two men, Joseph called Barsabbas, who was called Justus, and Matthias. And they prayed and said, You, Lord, who know the hearts of all men, show which one of these two you have chosen to occupy this ministry and apostleship from which Judas turned aside to go to his own place. And they drew lots for them, and the lot fell to Matthias, and he was added to the eleven apostles. Powerful. Powerful. Um, I really love the beginning with Jesus. It's awesome. It's amazing, the beginning with Jesus. I... And I also love the whole chapter, but that beginning with them with Jesus, it's amazing. Jesus said that he will he will give them the Holy Spirit. And that the time is coming soon. And I think that's in the next chapter they get the Holy Spirit. Or was it? I know that. It, yes, it's the next chapter. I see it on my page. Uh, yeah. On the page that it's on. Yeah, it's amazing that Jesus, he gave us stuff to do. He wants us to tell others about him. And when, when we pray, when we pray to God asking him to be in our heart, right in there, he's in your heart. He's in your heart. And if you believe in him, live out life for him, God will truly honor that. He will truly, truly honor that. That's truth. That is truth. He will honor that. God, in the Bible it says that we will have our own treasures up in heaven. Personally, I'm not like doing this for treasures. Even though it'll be cool, I guess, to have treasures up in heaven, but I'm not doing that. I'm not doing this for that. I'm like, I want to be rich in heaven now. I just, I just want to be with Jesus in heaven, but that's just an extended privilege when you're up in heaven. God gave us his Holy Spirit. He wants us to be a witness. He wants us to tell others about him. I really love it in Acts 1, verse 7 through 8, when he says, He said to them, it is not for you to know times or epochs which the Father has fixed by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be my witnesses, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria, and even to the remotest parts part of the earth. Jesus wants us to be his witnesses. He wants us to tell others about him. That's truth. I'm not doing this for glory, for fame, or because I want to be rich. No, I'm doing this because I want to make the name of the Lord known, and I want you all to join me. So that's why I'm making these so that I can inspire you. I know that we can't like all be together or like be in a group and tell others about Jesus right now, but we can still inspire others and tell others about Jesus. Even during this time, we can tell others about Jesus. That is truth. That is real. No matter what's going on with the world, we can still tell others about Jesus on YouTube, on Facebook Live. We can still do it. If you have social media. I have friends that don't have social media, but still. We can still tell others about Jesus. If you're, if you're not going anywhere, we still have our phones. We can still... We can still text, call, tell others about Jesus. That's what he wants us to do. Amen. So, I'm going to pray, and then I'm going to be done today. Dear God, thank you for this time that I can do this. Lord, you are awesome. You are amazing. Please get rid of the coronavirus pandemic. 
and every other disease, Lord. I love you, Lord. In your precious and holy name, Lord, I say amen. I'm going to go. I'm going to be done. I'm going to end this. Thank you, everybody, so much who's watched this and taking time out of your day to watch this. Please share it with your friends if you want to know about Jesus. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace.